What would you say is the most optimal way to use Extra's Cosmic Divide or Wall if you're a normal person? Would it be for taking a site on attack? Maybe it's better for post-plant situations. Or this 500 IQ play by Guild on Bind. With 30 seconds left in the round. That gives him the plant though. Oh, what a play! Okay. They pulled oh, him in. The kill? That is so sick from Colvamenta. Stick around and I'll show you how to do that later in the video. You have questions and for the price of one like, I can answer them. If you want to learn the best Astra walls, then we'll need to learn from the best Astra players, the pros. I'm chill and let's get into it. If you're unfamiliar or need a quick refresher, Astra's wall extends forever vertically and horizontally anywhere you place it on the map. It is a vision blocking ability that only allows players and abilities to pass through with the exception of enemy and ally bullets. It also dampens audio from all sources on the other side of the wall. It costs 7 ult points and lasts 21 seconds once it's placed. To use Cosmic Divide, go into Astral Form and right click anywhere you want. After right clicking, the wall will appear and create an axis which you can then rotate in the direction you want the wall to be placed. Here's how to do it if you need to get the wall down super quick. Here are some of the ways Asher's wall can be used. On defense, her wall can prevent attackers from hitting site, or it can aid in a retake scenario during post-plant. On attack, you can use it to help your team onto site and plant, or again, for post-plant, by making it harder for defenders to defuse. Occasionally, on attack, you can fake a site take with her wall to trick the defenders into thinking you're going somewhere you're not. There are other more situational uses for the wall, like helping your team get out of dangerous positions, but you won't use those too much. Now that we understand its various uses, let's look at some pro play and examples to get a better understanding of where Cosmic Divide can work. Let's start with Ascent, one of Astra's better maps, starting with Attack Side. Here's a cheeky wall you can use when taking A Site. This wall can be placed diagonally from the switch door to the ticket booth, keeping a little sliver of sight open for the plant. I believe that was the intention here of City Boys, but unfortunately it was shut down by TSM. Here's where you can plant if the wall actually works out for you. Make sure to have a teammate guard any eager beavers that want to swing through the wall while the spike goes down. Another option you can try is this wall across rafters. This makes it really difficult for defenders as they'll have to either wait out the wall or rotate through door. You can also play in hell with this wall and listen for any defenders playing rafters. Rafters. Same wall can be used for post plan. When taking B, you can use your wall to block off market and defender spawn. This wall gives you a better chance of getting onto site through lane. City boys have a hard time getting past the garage choke, but they ultimately get onto site with numbers. A post plant wall I absolutely love is this one on Ascent. During champions when Optic play DRX, Mako used this post plant wall to block stairs and lane. This wall leaves a spot near the box open so attackers can hear what the defenders are doing during retake. After the defenders take site, Zest gets out onto to lane to play post plant with his utility. This ultimately leads to Zest delaying the spike defuse with his clever positioning and utility usage to deny the plant. This is the wall you're going to want to use on A for both preventing a spike plant and defusing a spike. The reason for this is that the wall can cut off all of sight from attackers forcing them to push through. When defusing, it makes attackers posted up in A main have to run to the wall to stop the diffuser. Here's an example of both ways being used. Just like Nats, you can position yourself against the sight wall and your Asher wall and watch for any attackers passing through it. Here's your Astra pro tip for the day. Let's see how close you need to be to the spike in relation to the wall to hear the diffuse. If you're looking to defend B, you're most likely just going to smoke garage here. I don't think using Astra's wall is the best idea because the attackers can easily wait it out or just rotate. Instead, walling boathouse on retake will give you a better chance of diffusing while making it impossible for attackers behind the wall to hear you enter site. Moving on to bind, another solid map for Astra. You can take A site with this wall that cuts site in half horizontally, blocking U-Haul across the entire site. You can also try this close wall if you come out of showers. Decently high risk, but if you're low on time and have no options, give it a try. Post plant depends on you and your teammates positioning. If you're A main, you can use this one that cuts off most of sight forcing enemies through the wall or U-Haul. If you're shower and it's planted triple, this wall across triple might serve you well. The best wall for taking B site is the one that covers defender spawn and elbow. Your teammate can take over elbow control while you and a teammate have a crossfire on defender spawn. For post plant, you can either use the same wall 
wall or you can split the site vertically cutting the tube in half close to spike. Horizontally can work here too. So finally, here is the wall you've all been waiting for, I assume. During a guild versus crew match on bind, an interesting astral wall goes up in a seemingly advantageous position for crew. And that's exactly the point. The thing I love about this play is that it's psychological warfare at the highest level of Valorant. And I need to see more of that. Cold Dementa baits the sky into planting on the one spot you can, and the gravity well pulls the unsuspecting planter towards defenders waiting on the other side. Now in order to attempt this, you need a few things. Confirming a full sight take, placing your wall and star down one after another and hoping that not only do the attackers take your bait but also get the pick as the planter gets sucked through the wall. It's a spectacular piece of tech that you just love to see in Valorant. There are situations where you can use Astra's wall in substitution for a couple smokes like on B site. If you confirm a fast B take from long, you can wall garden and hookah at this angle to block both chokes. This also allows your teammates on A to hear the teleport, which is likely to happen if your wall deters attackers from coming long. Thinking about how your wall will affect both your team and the enemy team is important. You don't want to give an advantage to the enemy team with bad wall placements and timings. You can retake with this wall here that blocks elbow, garden, and hookah while being close to the spike which we know is a theme for most maps. Haven is another solid Astra map where her ult can give the team plenty of great opportunities to block off sites and retake a site very effectively. Let's take a look at an attack A wall. When approaching A to plant you can block heaven and spawn entrance. Pretty standard and easy wall. The post plant wall will depend on where you're playing which will most likely be A long or sewers. You can simply cut the site in half like so or you can angle the wall so the spike is right in front of it while you maintain line of sight. There's this interesting wall that you can use when taking B site on Haven. If you're playing for a pick or trying to mislead the defense, you can use this wall that splits B, covers spawn at C, and the two choke points at A. This makes it much harder for the defense to see where you're going. Post plant will likely be the same wall. When taking C site, you can block off a few common defender positions and choke points. This includes garage and defender spawn as well as the logs position. In this clip you'll also notice this creates a perfect area for Ashra to grab well the defender and combo with a raise nade. The timing is a bit off here but you see the potential. Post plant wall can either be used horizontally across site close to spike while you play long or vertically close to the spike. Sometimes playing in these sneaky positions up against the wall can give you the advantage on anyone peeking through. A little risky in this particular spot. Most of the defensive walls will revolve around the smokes leading to site, similar to where your normal smokes would go. On A, you can use the wall to cut off a long and sewers, which can also help block vision of anyone lurking through mid to B. The retake wall can go in the same position. Here's a look at a wall you can use when defending a B push or attempting a defuse. I've used this one myself on Haven quite a few times and have had more success than failure. Just keep in mind if the enemy has any damage dealing abilities left. At C, if the attackers are hitting site hard with a lot of utility, you can try this wall to cut off site completely and have this sick crossfire between logs and plat. It also blocks garage window as well. Retake wall can be used in the same position or in front of C long. Pearl is a map that I think Ashra can definitely be viable on, but will take a bit more coordination and star management to get good value from her. The pros seem to enjoy playing her on this map, so let's take a look at how they use her wall. When attacking A site, you have a couple options you can try. The first is this wall that cuts the site in half diagonally, starting from art and going through the coffee stand, denying vision from secret and back site. A second wall can simply cut the site in half horizontally, but you'll need to smoke art before taking site. For post plant, use either of these walls depending on your team's positioning. On B attack, you can block off the site chokes and tower to take control of site and B hall. It forces them to come down from tower and push straight into sight or challenge through the wall and B hall, which is not something you want to do as a defender. Alternatively, if you want to plant in the top corner of sight, try this wall instead. Planting here also allows you to play post plant all the way back towards B ramp. On defense at A, you can use a simple wall like this that lines up with the front of sight. This wall can help your team more effectively hold sight by making it difficult for attackers to enter from both art and A main. It also blocks the mid push and towards ramp by B long. Post plant wall can go in a similar spot. To defend B, you can use this wall that prevents a attackers from just running through, you know, unless you're a psycho like Zekin on Neon. Now let's just watch this round play out and show off how dominant Artis is on Chamber. Insane shots from him here. Angel, but we know that there's still players here. And Artis is one what? of them. Snapping the wrist just to find Aaron. And now, oh, Artis! Oh, oh my god! Is that? What? It's why you don't go towards where he is. That's why you run and hide. 
You can either use the same wall on post plant to try and defuse, or you can line up the wall with the edge of sight. Now, Astra isn't really used much at all by the pros on Fracture, and even less so for Icebox and Breeze. I think Astra can work on Fracture, especially in Ranked, but she won't be as optimal compared to the other controller agents on this map. That being said, we can still come up with some walls that can work for you here. Over on A, we can use this wall that allows for easy access to sight. I would probably plant in the far corner of sight, so playing A main is easier. Post plant wall can be the same, or if you plant it under sight, just angle the wall towards sight so you can get in more safely. If you're coming from drop, you can position the wall to the right of drop so it blocks vision from rope, catwalk, and A-link. At B, sending your wall vertically across the right side of sight is probably the most effective way to get into sight, but definitely be cautious of the tower player. You can gravity well here to get them off the angle. I wouldn't smoke because taking tower control on B after planting is very important if you plant default. The post plant wall can be close to the spike on site, cutting it in half. On defense A, if the attackers are pushing through A main and ropes, you can put up this wall that denies their vision towards sight. If they're pushing drop, block it off with this wall. I like this one because you can play deep under sight and wait for attackers to push in. To retake sight, if the spike is planted in the far left corner, you can put up this wall that blocks A main and most of sight, leaving you a bit of room to defuse. If the spike is under sight, you can put up a normal wall that blocks A main. At B, to prevent a push from B bench and B main at the same time, try this one to help out your tower player. For retaking site, you'll most likely want to block off arcade and tower if you're coming from spawn. If you know the attackers are B main and the spike is planted dice, you can cut off that choke instead. Icebox and Breeze have the lowest pick rate for Ashra, and she's never used on them as far as I know in pro play, and there's a good reason for that. Icebox and Breeze are better suited for wall agents like Viper and Harbor. But if you're a diehard Ashra main and refuse to play any other controller agents, then I would apply what you learned on the other maps to these. For Breeze, entering site with a wall that mimics Viper's wall wall can work, as well as placing the wall close to your diffuser on post plant. Icebox can mimic the sage wall technique for either site on attack, and again, close to the diffuser on defense. Have fun playing Ashra on these maps, I respect your insanity. For now, I'll leave out Split, since at the time of recording, it's out of the map pool. I do think Ashra is a strong controller for Split, and I plan to make a quick video or short going over the best walls, so subscribe to make sure you don't miss that. Alright, that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, then drop a like and let me know in the comments what you want to see in the next video. Subscribe for more guides like this one, but before you go, you may want to check out my updated guide for Ashra on Haven. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.